Heading via Zoom to Sydney to catch up with Biagio Versace, who's the founder of um, a wonderful non-profit organisation called Mind Positivo. Uh, Biagio, did I get it right? You did, George. Thank you very much. It's an honour to be speaking with you today. So I remember uh, watching a movie years ago and the woman kept speaking about Versace, not Versace. So, <laughs> did you ever have to yeah. cope with those yeah. sorts of deals in those early years? Oh, still to this day. I mean, there's Versace, Versace, um, there's Baggio. Um, so, yes, but... Um, he, it, it, the names become more common as, as he became famous, but uh, uh, no relation, but uh, it's a great brand. It's a marvellous brand. Uh, Biagio Versace just rolls off the tongue. It's a fabulous name. You should be very proud of it. But talk to me about something else you're very proud of. Talk to me about uh, what's happened over the last couple of years. This, this uh, wonderful non-profit uh, concept to build an organisation called Mind Positivo. Tell us why you did it and what it's directed at. What are we, what's the goal, the end goal? Yeah, so I, I started the initiative um, having grown up um, over the last 30 years with friends and family members that have had these mental health challenges. Um, I've always wanted to do something, but wasn't sure quite what it was. Um, and growing up with uh, these individuals, you get to learn understand, observe what's going on. And uh, a couple of years ago, I decided to start up Mind Positivo, which focuses on, which focuses on the pre-mental uh, health challenges. What that means is we focus too much on the, uh, the, the, the stresses of life, everyday life instead of focusing on the positive triggers that we should be looking at. For example, um, when we talk to the youth, we talk to the kids at school about managing social media, speaking to their parents, teachers, if not feeling right, go do sports, get involved. And in the corporate sector, uh, as you know, be, there's a lot of stress in the corporate sector and focus on the areas that make them happy. And the same with the youth. So our main thing is keep it, keep it real, but keep it positive and simple. So we try to get those positive messages out there before something um, jumps in and becomes an issue. Um, it's interesting that you've done this in the last couple of years. Um, has COVID added more challenges and more problems for you? Uh, it's interesting. I started off uh, speaking to groups of 20 to 30 people face to face. And then as you do, you set up all your socials and then that took off. Um, so we have a, a, a large following. Um, but during the COVID, the face to face stopped, which I miss because the face to face interaction you really get to see the acknowledgement. But I have to say, we, the, 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 the engines kept going on the social media and the podcast. We have a podcast as well. Um, so it's sort of a, a, a blessing and a curse, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we still continue, we continue to reach out and um, we've been blessed to have 10 million views on social media, over half a million engagements across 30 countries, three languages. And they are English, Italian and Spanish. Uh, Mind Positivo is the non-profit organisation. Biagio Versace is the founder. Um, if people want to find the podcast, how do they go about it, Biagio? Uh, we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You just type in Mind Positivo, and it'll come up with all our interviews. We've got some. We've had. We've been going on the podcast for about a year and a half. We've got uh, some amazing individuals, um, some famous, some not so famous, but they all do wonderful things to help. Uh, manage these triggers before the pre-challenges uh, come, come about. And some people tell their life story, like footballers, CEOs. Well, I can imagine taking them into the schools, uh, how, how instructive and how um, enthralling it would be, and lift and open. And you said from day one, one of the things that you wanted to do was destigmatize mental health. Uh, with with, with, with uh, been very quiet about it for years. It was a subject we never talked about. Um, going into the schools, how were the education facilities and authorities? Normally, they're very protective of the curriculum. How did they see you? What did what did they? What was the sense? What did you feel welcome or most welcome? Um, yes, they're still very guarded uh, uh -huh. of what they who they allowed into the system because they have their own counsellors around talking about um, you know, the challenges for mental health. 
Uh, some of the groups we've spoken to are PCYC groups and youth groups, but um, overall, once they see the message that we're not talk because we're not, I'm not an academic or a, a professional doctor, I'm just sharing experiences. And so they sort of come to good there, but they, they protect the, the, the system, the education system and the students, which is, which is understandable. And, um, but yeah, no, we've been fortunate to speak to, to them and allow them for them to allow us to chat to them. Well, talk to me about the corporates. Uh, how have they seen the entry of Mind Positiva? I, I'm sure that there are many instances where businesses would have said, welcome, come in, talk to our mixed staff and uh, help us to help them. Is that the feedback? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been fortunate to, uh, well, I, I've uh, been in corporate world for over 25 years myself. So uh, I, I know what they're going through. And I've been fortunate to be invited not only to organisations, but to uh, leadership development companies that develop individuals for companies um, to speak to the groups. And when speaking to the corporates, um, you can see as, a, as a, the individuals, when we highlight are you doing what makes you happy? Because there's a lot of stress in the corporate world, oh, right? Oh. You, know, you know, deadlines, KPIs. And, and at the end of it, we try the message I try to get across to corporates is if your KPI is not happiness, you're on the wrong track. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. And the face-to-face -face engagement. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, my own career, um, I've sort of worked in different large organisations. I've had the privilege. Um, and the kid from Bankstown who couldn't speak Italian had, had a lot of opportunity. But I've always done what I enjoyed to do and kept moving. If something became on the type, if something gets a little bit boring, I just look for the next thing. Mm. Um, and that's what I try to highlight. And when you see corporate leaders that have worked with you, my peers nodding, mm. and then afterwards you have a QA and a and you're there longer with the questions after than the presentation. Well, the, so for me, that, that's... The questioning, that questioning uh, tells me that the engagement has worked they've bought in and they want to ex share and exchange ideas with you. That must be enormously illuminating. Uh, I know that uh, throughout the work that we've done over the last, uh, say, nearly a year now on the Informer, the one thing that keeps coming back to us is just how important mindset is and how a positive mindset is like a key. And if it's positive and you, you take that aspirational view, there are no surprises when you see that key turn in the right direction and you get the results that you're looking for or you score the key goals. And I dare say, Mind Positivo right now is to keep spreading the word, to work harder and harder and harder to make people more aware of the challenges of mental health and why we shouldn't be afraid of it, why we don't have to keep it in the closet or in the dark. We have to bring it out and help people help themselves, correct? Absolutely, George. And, um, you know, like I said, the KPI needs to be happiness. And um, and the more we can do that, the more, you know, it, we're comfortable with it, you know. And another thing that we share, a group um, came up with this, another group, it's, it ain't weak to speak. <laughs> so, and, you know, and, and it's important mental health. But, it, but on the mode of happiness and mindset, um, there are individuals in the corporate world that are, would rather be doing other things for themselves mm. and being more successful than working for the man or the woman for that instant. Um, you know, it really highlights um, what, what is possible. And some people just need encouragement. And my positive, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's really like a community discussion, like back in the village in, in Italy or Greece or whatever, the old guys used to get together and have a chat and it's really just talking it out, you know, and, yeah, Biagio, and it's, it's amazing what... Bi Biagio, you they only came together for the coffee and I'm concerned <laughs> that we've got to get better coffee in out of Bankstown, all right? So our mission, should you choose to accept it, is to try and get some really special baristas to take up the challenge and open up a new place in the heart of Bankstown and bring some special coffee into the team at Mind That's Positive. It, I'll, put, I'll put that... I'll put that on the vision board for you, George, and I'll, I'll work towards it. Bravo. If, um, if, people yeah, want, so if, it, if people want to know more about Mind Positivo, how do they reach out to you? Um, as we said, they can go on the podcast, have a listen to the podcast because everybody's on the go. Um, we've got the website, uh, www.mindpositivo.com. We're on Facebook and Instagram. So there's a few areas there. But, Fantastic. Uh, 
I, I recommend they go straight to the podcast yep. and have a listen so they just walk. And if they really are adventurous and you can do what uh, Biagio has been doing, type in Biagio Versace and you'll also get Mind Positivo pull up too. Uh, Biagio, it's been a joy. Uh, terrific stuff with it. Keep doing the, the tremendous work that you're doing because we have a marketplace and a community that needs all the assistance that it can get at the moment especially. Thank you again. No, thank you, George. I appreciate it. Congratulations on uh, the informer. No problem. Thank you very much. Biagio Versace joining us via Zoom from Bankstown where they promise they'll find a brand new barista to get their coffee done.